This is a comparison between the Stages Indoor Cycling brand commercial grade bike and the Spinner Indoor Cycling brand commercial grade bike. In the show notes, in the video notes, I will include the model of uh, Spinner brand indoor cycling bikes that I'm comparing. Okay, this is a big picture overview. I, after many years of working and maintaining thousands of Spinner brand indoor cycling bikes, and also hundreds and hundreds of stages indoor cycling bike, I'm gonna give you a big picture overview of the main differences and the highlights between the Spinner and the Stages Indoor Cycling Bike. Number one, we're gonna go with the, the adjustment mechanisms for the seat, okay. On the Stages, has a lock lever here, handlebar and seat tower. This is superior over the Spinner. The Spinner has got an old prehistoric uh, system that basically, in a nutshell, because it's an old school system, it causes the handlebars to come loose during the handlebars and seat to come loose during the classes, okay? Basically what happens is the pop pins on the spinner, they come loose. This, these engineers at stages, they used to work, they used to be uh, engineers at Schwinn. And so this is the latest and greatest. Essentially on this, on the stages bike, these will not come loose during a class, the seat tower, or the uh, handlebar tower. And unfortunately, I just got done, work, done working on some um, um, spinner indoor cycling bikes at a studio yesterday. And we had, uh, this is on a, two, a 19, uh, 2019 model, uh, about 12 handlebar and seat tower pop pins bad on a bike that were less than a year old. Okay, next thing, handlebar adjustment. Comparison, the stages versus the the stages versus the spinner handlebar and seat tower. This is a seat tower. This is a handlebar tower. This mechanism here is superior. It's so superior compared to a spinner brand indoor cycle bike. I uh, I'll do another separate video, but just believe me, it's so much better. Okay. The next thing, pedals. If you buy a spinner brand commercial grade indoor cycling bike, they have what's called a Morse taper th um, threadless pedal system. And for, I would just say it's much more complicated. And when you've got to change pedals, it makes it much harder. On the stages indoor cycling bike, they have a traditional 916 threaded. Okay, next thing. On the bottom bracket bearings here, on the bottom bracket bearings, the spinner brand, if you gotta replace them, it's a nightmare. It's a total nightmare. I, I don't need to go into it. I've got another video on my channel which you can see the spot, the spinner bottom bracket, but I'll just say it's a nightmare. It's a lot harder for the uh, mechanic to change. Next thing is the drivetrain uh, on the stages is a belt drive. And on the 2020 um, spinners, they have all have belt drives. There may, be a, there may be one bike, there may be a spinner rally that has a chain driven bike, okay? But 90, most of the spinners for 2020 and 2019 have belt drives. And here's what I'm gonna say is the belt drive system on the stages better? Absolutely, hands down, night and day difference. Okay, and the reason why is the the, the spinner, excuse me, the, uh, why am I losing my train of thought here? On the stages, it's got a uh, Gates belt drive, okay? It's got a belt drive, it doesn't have any pulleys, it's very simple, as opposed to the, to the spinner belt drive. The spinner bolt belt drive is quieter than the stages, but unfortunately, it's got a lot of drag to it because the, uh, the pulley system, the tension system on the spinner 
it creates a lot of drag. And so it doesn't ride like a regular bike. This bike rides like a regular bike. And also the maintenance or uh, repair on a spinner compared to the stages, it's so much more complicated. It's so much more work. And also what I'll say is the quality control and construction on the spinner crank set and this, the pulley, the pulley on the, the spinner, it's problematic to say the least, highly problematic. So anyway, if you're a consumer or you're in, or an indoor cycling studio, I would say that I would not buy a spinner commercial grade indoor cycling bike for a studio or at home for a number of reasons, okay? All the, all the reasons that I just listed makes it a lot harder for the bike mechanic or the bike tech, whoever's gonna be working on the bikes, uh, to do the maintenance and repairs. If they don't have, if your bike mechanic, if your bike tech doesn't have experience with the spinner, it's gonna take them exponentially longer to do the repair. Sometimes it's gonna be very hard for the bike mechanic to do the repair. Sometimes they may, may not be able to figure it out. And also, I would say between the warranty department and purchasing parts, um, stages is significantly easier than the spinning brand. So with spinning, it's made by Precore and Precore Oh, I had to purchase, uh, I had to look up some parts the other day. It took me like, to order the parts, I had to look up the parts. And it took me like six hours total from the time it took me to do the work to get the part numbers I needed, okay, and get the order placed. It took me like six hours to order a few different parts. So anyway, if I'm biased towards the Stasis Indoor Cycling Bike, that's because it's a superior product. And so as far as a company that's doing, um, providing superior service and easier to deal with, the Stages brand is definitely way ahead of spinning. Spinning used to be the flagship brand, but no longer anymore.